Hey there. Hope everybody's doing all right. Let's talk some more about Schrade Walden's American Army Officer's Knives, a knife that was uh, inspired, obviously, by Victorinox and Winger Swiss Army Knives and made by Schrade Walden back in the 50s and 60s. Uh, this knife first came to my attention because Dave Arnold, a friend and fellow collector, saw this model, the 906, on eBay, and Dave has a keen eye for all things Swiss Army knife or type knives, and so he picked it up, and I think at the time the seller wouldn't ship internationally, so he wouldn't ship to Canada, so he shipped it to me, and uh, I sent it along to Dave, and I did a little video on it, unimproved, and at the time, I said, I don't know a lot about these knives, and I don't pretend to know a lot about these knives, so I just kind of ran through the knife and then uh, mailed it on. Since then, I've always been on the hunt for them, and uh, I've actually bought four. Um, in the last few years, I have seen about a half a dozen of these Model 906s. Uh, here's one. I um, fixed one up and sold it, and I fixed another up and gave it away. Uh, this is the model with the patented uh, beverage can or beer can opener. It's a church key opener on the back. And this is pretty cool because I found out that this uh, actually was patented in 1955. It's got the patent number 2698480 by Michael Morano, who was a founder of the Imperial Knife Company. He helped found the Imperial Knife Company back in 1916. So in 1955, as an older man, I guess, he had that patented. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, this, this is uh, appearing on a Schrade Walden, but you can also find these on old, old Ulster knives and old Imperial knives, like the Super Camp King, which one was just on eBay in great shape for a great price, and I missed it. Um, but in 1947, you know, Imperial uh, joined with Schrade and Ulster, and it was the Imperial Associated Companies. So that makes sense that this would appear on Ulster, Imperial, and Schrade models. Anyway, so over the last few years, I've seen about six of these. I've acquired three, and the other three were you know, really too beat up to mess with. Uh, but these first appear in the Schrade Walden 1957 catalog. And um, they started at a big price of $6.95. And they also appear in the 58 catalog, the 59 catalog, the 60, the 61, not the 62, and the 63 catalog. So I kind of date this knife from 1955 when this was patented. Um, there was no 55 catalog that I can find or a 56 Schrade Walden catalog that I can find. Um, my source for looking at those catalogs is a website, uh, and I'll put the link in the description box below. But on that website, there is no 55 or 56 catalog they're missing in the lineup. And uh, also, there's, um, this does not appear in the 62 catalog, strangely. So I think we could say from either 57 to 63 or 55 to 63 on this knife. And again, that's the, that's the 906. They have the model number on the back of the tang. They'll say 906 stainless. And here's the tang, Schrade Walden, New York, USA. This was the tang stamp that Schrade Walden used uh, from 1946 to 1973. Uh, but anyway, so the whole time that I've been looking for these, I've also been looking for the only other model of American Army officer's knives that Schrade Walden ever made, the elusive 900. And the only difference is the 900 does not have this church key opener on the back. So it doesn't have to have this uh, extra, you know, thick spring in the front here. And it's a much smaller, lighter knife, much more akin to, say, a Victorinox standard. Well, I finally found one. One popped up on eBay, so I grabbed it, and here it is. And that's really why I'm making this video. I want to show you this model. This model only appears in the 1958 catalog. It doesn't appear in the 57 catalog or any of those other subsequent catalogs. So it appears in the 1958 catalog um, as the 900 IP, which was a designation for um, ivory plastic scales. But it's actually pictured uh, in you know dark, like red, with no shield and an imprint showing you could have you know an advertising imprint on it. That's the only time it appears. 
and it does not appear with a shield. Although I have seen photos of these uh, on forums and things with a shield. And uh, also I want to point out that this knife uh, appears on uh, page 130, no I'm sorry, yeah page 130 of Michael Young's um, Swiss Army Knife Owner's Manual. Let me show you real quick. So he's got a section in here about knives that are inspired by the uh, Swiss Swiss Army knives. And here's the Schrade Walden 906. Here you can see the church key on the back there. But over here, I found something really interesting. He describes this one as a craftsman knife, and if you look at it very carefully, I believe that's the 900 model from Schrade Walden. And you know, Sears had contract knives under the Craftsman name and Stay Sharp and other things with different companies and they use Schrade for many of their knives. So this makes a lot of sense. Um, I would say that this is a pretty rare knife, only appearing in the 1958 Schrade Walden catalog. But if they were also making them for, for Sears under the Craftsman badge, it might be a little less rare. But I will say this, I've seen six or seven of these over about course of about three years, and this, this is the first one of these I've ever seen. So let's just take a real quick look at the knife, run through it. Um, I've restored this knife. It came to me in pretty bad shape. Uh, it looks really good now. The only thing is that the scales are a little discolored. Obviously this knife spent some time in the sunshine, a little too much time in the sunshine. You can see here the, how the scales have uh, changed color there a little bit. But as I said, it's, it's much like a standard or Spartan. Uh, here it has the safety can opener. It says stainless on it. And it has a rather long screwdriver cap lifter on this end. Also marked stainless steel. Uh, a long, very narrow spear point blade. And again, we've seen this tang on the other knife, but it's Schrade Walden, New York, USA. And on the back of this one, we have the model number 900 stainless steel. Um, so these knives were, these uh, blades were really heavily scratched and messed up when I got them. I have polished them out. They look pretty good. Uh, although I don't know what's going on with the choils. They look like crazy deep. Like somebody decided, hey, I can, I can improve that knife. <laughs> I can put a deep, really deep choil on that. Uh, I doubt they came from straight Walden like that. The 906 I have doesn't look like that. Uh, and then the only other tool on the top side is a um, clip point small blade. Again, marked stainless steel. Again, someone's cut a really deep choil in it. Uh, and it does have a bale. Uh, plastic scales, obviously. I don't know what type of plastic this is. It's not Celador. Uh, I think it's probably something else. It was billed as unbreakable, but about every other one of these I see has a big crack near rivet or something like that. Uh, it does have a bird's eye uh, rivet, so there's a washer there uh, backing up the rivet, giving it a little more strength. And on the back side, we have a nice corkscrew. It is fluted. Nickel silver liners and a nice uh, European style all here. Yeah, so there's a great little knives. They're really well built. You know, these are not cheap knockoffs of Swiss Army knives. Yeah, they're knockoffs of Swiss Army knives, but they're not cheap. They're probably the best uh, quality U.S. imitation of a Swiss Army knife I've seen. And just to compare it to the Victorinox Swiss Army knife, at first I thought, well, you know, it's a uh, most directly comparable to or comparable to the uh, 1951 Swiss uh, Army knife where they went to the uh, new patented uh, can opener and uh, aluminum liners. And uh, then I got to thinking, well, you know, by 1957, Victorinox was hiding the rivets. So it's really more, since this appeared in the 1958 catalog, it's really 
probably better to compare it to the, the 1957 model. Again, here we have, you know, the, the newer style patented can opener and an exposed all uh, aluminum liners, but hidden rivets. And I can just tell you that the Swiss Army knife is, you know, the real deal. It's the more elegant, sophisticated, refined, uh, highly engineered of the two. While this is a good, sturdy knife, um, for instance, this one, you know, with the hidden rivets and the smooth in, uh, metal inlay, it's just really classy. And it's a lot lighter, too, and I, that's probably down to the um, aluminum liners. But the Victorinoxes, both uh, the, uh, this one with exposed rivets and this one with the hidden rivets and the exposed all, they weigh right in at 64 grams. This guy weighs in at 85 grams. So pretty big difference percentage-wise, proportionally. Um, they're both the same size, 91 millimeters. Uh, I think the Schrade Walden maybe is a little closer to 92, but it's, you know, that's just splitting hairs. So um, pretty much the same size, same dimension, same shape, but a vast difference in the weight. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a look uh, at the American version of the Swiss Army knife. And, um, you know, as I said, I, I bought this. It was in pretty rough shape, so I'll end with this little montage of some before and after pictures. Thanks for watching, and have fun collecting.